Hi there, so I'm out today at Trafalgar Golf and Country Club. All right, so a little something different today. It is late November. Uh, we're taking a look at this course as a potential option for our next year membership. Uh, we're going to be playing at least nine holes today. I'm not sure how much daylight we're going to have. Uh, we're looking at this as the uh, home course for the following year. And so at this point in the round, uh, what we've really found uh, playing a couple of holes here at this time is the proximity of the greens, the tee blocks. Uh, everything seems to be really squeezed in here. So a situation if we get some wayward golf balls flying, uh, you may need to uh, watch out uh, and avoid getting yourself hit here. So we're on number five. We're going to try a driver and see how that all plays out. All right, so hit a good drive on the fifth hole here. It is a dog leg left. Uh, played driver, not sure that's really the right uh, club for this hole, uh, but we're out here for the first time and we may as well see how the driver fares in this situation. On to number six. Right, so one of the nice things here about the front side of Trafalgar is that we do have a par three that's playing approximately 400 yards. It's always good to hit a long iron and uh, mix it up when uh, playing the different threes. All right, so here now we're playing the seventh hole. It's got the humps going up the left-hand side. Now we've got Derry Road just on the other side of the humps. Uh, it looks like we've got a bit of a dog leg, uh, maybe turning to the left. We've got some sand, what appears to be up in the landing area on the left-hand side. Par 3, ninth finishing hole here, uh, approximately 200 yards downwind. Um, it's been a great day out here so far. It, the weather is fantastic for late November. Uh, really seem to uh, get an extra bonus round in here, which allows us to give this opportunity to play Trafalgar, see what that's like as a possibility for next year's uh, membership. Uh, so just finishing up here at Trafalgar Golf and Country Club. Now, because of the daylight and when we started at this point, we weren't able to play all of the holes on the back nine, which meant that we played a couple of the holes going out uh, and then taking a look at, you know, where the holes were taking us away from the clubhouse and how much daylight we had left. Chose to, you know, start playing back towards the clubhouse again, which meant that we finished off with some of the holes that we played uh, on the front nine. Uh, overall, had a great day out here at Trafalgar. It was a wonderful uh, fall golf day. Um, a lot of great things about this place. I think, you know, in this in the prime of the season, I think it's going to be in great shape. The fairways look pretty good. Uh, the greens were, uh, the, the greens actually rolled pretty well, again, for the fact that they were punched and uh, getting prepped for the winter season. Uh, I really like the green complexes around uh, as well. So, you know, the, the variation of how the greens were laid out with the undulation on the greens and the bunkers that surrounded the the holes I thought was really well done. The only challenge that I have at this point is really two things. One is the proximity of the tee blocks and the greens. I'm just concerned that that's going to uh, allow for a possibility of a bit of a, uh, you know, someone getting hit and, and we obviously don't want to see that. The other thing of course would be the, you know, the, the demand on the course and the ability to get some tee times. So if you have any thoughts, I uh, would really welcome uh, any input that you might be able to provide uh, for this decision. Uh, it has to be made very soon at this time. Um, so your input would be appreciated. Thanks so much.